Hello there, minions. Wheezy here. Today, I'm going to show you how to save a shit ton of money on your PlayStation Plus subscription. So let's go take a look. Okay, so I recently uh, needed to upgrade my PlayStation Plus subscription for Sebastian, rather extend it because it had expired, uh, which reminded me I ought to do this video. So uh, you can see in here on his profile on the PlayStation, his subscription has expired. And the my big secret is cdkeys.com. Uh, so I'm going to put a link down below that you guys can use uh, to go here, which would be an affiliate link. So you guys can help me out and save money on my subscriptions as well if you choose to do that. Otherwise, you can just go to cdkeys.com. I'm not sponsored or anything by them, but... This is what I've been doing for literally years for my PlayStation Plus subscriptions, and it has saved me so much money. Here you can see uh, when I updated this, it's a $60 a year subscription, and I paid $28.99, $29. That's more than 50% off an annual subscription. So, um, and I, from when I went and did this, I realized that CD Keys has recently added like a rewards program or something like that. So I'm earning like CD points or something. I don't even know what that means, but. Uh, once you've purchased a, and it's an online code, works in the US, um, I think there's a Canadian one, I don't know if there's a European one, you might have to look around. Uh, but for the US, once you've purchased it under your orders, you can click on get code, and it will show you your code. Now, for those of you who are intrepid, I will show you in the video, I've already redeemed this code, so don't go and try and redeem it, it won't do you any good. Um, but inside of there, you can see I'm on Sebastian's profile. You can go to redeem code, put in the code, and bingo bongo, you have just put in your one year subscription for PSN, uh, for PlayStation Plus, for less than $30, which is normally $60. Uh, this used to be a discount, uh, a similar discount for Xbox Live. Although, because of the recent changes with Game Pass Ultimate and stuff like that, the price on CD Keys has gone back up to full price. So I'll do a separate video on Xbox stuff. Um, but for PlayStation Plus, boom. Now it will, when you do this, it will turn on auto renew, which may not be a big deal for you. If you, you will get an email from PlayStation letting you know when your subscription is about to renew. So you can go in and buy another key if you want to. Or as I'll show here, you can go in and just turn off auto renew. That way you'll guarantee that you will never be automatically charged full price and you can just go back every time and renew it. This is what I did for Sebastian's account and that's why I hadn't noticed that it, it had expired uh, and so it lapsed. Um, so I had to go back and re-add it because I turned off auto renew. So uh, here under payments and subscriptions, under PlayStation Plus, you'll see you can turn auto renew on or off. Um, this one is now under my profile. You can see my profile has been a member since 2015. I think for Sebastian's, when it expired, it reset his member sense number. So I don't know if that's, uh, you wanna leave it on auto renew just in case. But um, one of the great things about PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Plus, in addition to the online component, which you'd have to pay for, which is a standard on consoles online now, sadly, um, you get monthly free games. So right now they're covering PS5 and PS4. Uh, as the console cycle transitions but one cool feature about this that the xbox doesn't do is you can just click add to library on these games and it won't automatically download them to your console it will just add them to your library so that in the future you can download them whenever you want um, so that's great for if there's a game i don't want to play it right now if you don't add it to your library before the month ends that it's available in then you can't go back and add it later um, so make sure every month you're going in and adding those f free PlayStation Plus titles to your library uh, and here you uh, also on at the launch of PS5 they've got the PS Plus collection if you have a PS5 there's a bunch of really awesome PlayStation games you can just go ahead and add to your library in the exact same way uh, so the last thing I'm gonna show you here is uh, your game library um, all of your PlayStation Plus games uh, here so the collection shows everything but you can see the tabs up at the top you can see what's installed what's only your PlayStation Plus subscription uh, titles and then if you have PlayStation now so um, it, you know I, I think if you're watching my channel there's a good chance that you're probably if you're on a console you're already paying for your online service so this should hopefully save you some money um, and just going back to CD keys you can see that they don't just sell the memberships they also have uh digital keys for games on pc uh ps uh, playstation xbox nintendo so uh, if you are thinking about buying something it might be worth just checking to see if there's a discount here there is a like two or three dollar discount on the game pass ultimate subscription on here um which any you know any little bit helps you're gonna be paying it either way so um 
yeah, hopefully you guys found this helpful. If uh, uh, if you want to use my link below, it'll help us uh, both out. But uh, if not, you can just go to the website and do it. Again, um, this isn't sponsored or anything. I just want to save you guys some money. Uh, this is how I've been doing this to save myself a bunch of money on PlayStation Plus for the last several years. So I uh, figured you guys might want to go try it out. Uh, if you found this helpful, leave me a like. If you don't like saving money, leave me a dislike. And then go pay full price for your PlayStation Plus subscription. Uh, <laughs> subscribe for more stuff that's helpful. It's not all going to be PlayStation discounts, but uh, I like trying to help you guys out. So become a minion and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.